<laughs> Shiki, Hot Chef is doing mad amazing. <laughs> I'm not even joking. <laughs> now nah, you're making me feel like I should have asked for more shares in your company. Yeah, now you're being greedy. Not only really more shares, more shares. Move me, don't even lie. You know Suki has helped your business. That's what friends are for. In that case, we're not friends, though. <laughs> <laughs> I think that Mr. Aldo tried to blacklist me. Sometimes bad things happen for good reasons. Dude, you slept with his wife. And he fired me. Then he tried to blacklist me. What would you have done if it was you? Imagine someone slept with your wife. <laughs> can never be me. <laughs> That's what they always say. <laughs> and why can't it be you? Because I have a PhD, you know? Pretty huge. <laughs> you know Bigger I mean? is not always better. Oh, <laughs> shut up! Where's your Super V t-shirt, sir? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I agree with Sukomi. You see, men like you think Bigger is always better. But we women know it's not true. But for your ego, it's fine. Things, I, I don't know what kind of man you have met. Because me, I'm... Wait, be honest. How many women have you made climax? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> yeah, virgin! Shut up! Don't lie. So you answer. Orgasms are overrated. Eh? That's your ego talking. You see, some orgasms will make you lose your sanity. No. Come to think of it, what are you even using the sanity for? Um, so that's why a lot of people are walking around senseless. Ah. Makes sense. Hmm. Some things are meant to be short and impactful. I join 11.35. <laughs> you know what? To answer your question, the answer will be at least one in about a few hours. In is coming. Yeah, sure. When I, you know, just... I meant coming here. Not... Oh. <laughs> Never mind. I have stuff to do at the office. Mm? No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, he doesn't. I'm not sure Suki even goes to the office. Just doesn't want to be here when Ini gets here. I have done everything possible to make this less awkward, but Ini lives with her folks. And I'm not sure that they'll appreciate the ringtones. Hotels. Mm. That one hot chef needs more investment. What to do? Have you noticed that every time Ini is coming, Sukomi always has stuff to do at the office? See, setting up a business is not easy, and you know it. I run a business too. Are you telling me that I have no notice? See, I don't want to get caught up in you people's drama. You know, there's no drama. You can't be that naive. He's trying to be the bigger person, but it's tough. What do you mean, my bigger person? I asked him numerous times, and he said it was fine. Does it look fine? Or does he look fine? Are you trying to say that I shouldn't have gotten involved with Ini? Not your mother, oh. You're my friend today. Once again, Bubemi, I don't want to get caught up in you people's drama. When did we become you people? Hmm? Is there anything I'm going to say now that will make you end things with Ini?
pick two. Pick three. Final card. Check up. I'm not even pick. <laughs> It's because you shuffle the cards, you Right. Every single game that I play with you, I always win you and you always have an excuse. Cards, scrabble, same excuse. I guess you have a lucky hand. Please, Jare. Because it's not code, you know, you just did not play games growing up. <laughs> yeah. Remind me to ask my mom. I'll ask her, don't worry. I'll remind you. Let's read you for another round. So you can beat me again. <laughs> no, let's go. It's getting late. No. no. Let's go home, Joe. I'll drop you. Please. Give me the cards. We're going, ah. So you just be beating me in here. Ah. So, yeah, <laughs> last couple of weeks have been fun. I didn't hear with you. <laughs> Same here. I hope your boyfriend is not complaining. You know. You know I don't have a boyfriend. How am I supposed to know that? You were the only one with me at Timmy's burial. He could have traveled. I, I don't have a boyfriend. Why? Sorry, you don't have to ask that. I was just... No, it's fine. I broke up with him. Do you want to tell me why? Mm -hmm. I don't know. He had the same name as my brother. So? I don't know. The whole thing was just... I don't know, it was just really creepy, like, during sex, calling his name and, I don't know, the whole arrangement was just really weird. I didn't like it. Okay, I get that. <laughs> but didn't he have a nickname? Same as my brother. Middle name? I don't know, it just wasn't working. Sorry. Ah, it's fine. He's moved on now. And you? Hmm? Have you moved on? Yes. I'm here playing cards with you. You. I mean what? You and Naomi, are you guys still together? Uh. Why? Did she have the same name as your sister too? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> was so, it wasn't working. Whose fault was it? Mine. Great. Thanks for letting me know to avoid men like you in the future. <laughs> really? Please, I, I need to get that. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Should a guy ask a girl before kissing her for the first time or should he just go for it? <laughs> a guy should ask a girl for permission before kissing her in the first place because she might not like it. She might actually like it too. So content really matters. I think it depends on the vibe with you guys. It happens naturally. I don't think you should ask a girl, I'm sorry, please can I kiss you? It sounds awkward. Ah, I advise you to ask if people are just getting to know each other to avoid stories that touch and slap because Consent is king. Listen and listen good. We live in the age of consent, okay? So, well, consent and vibes, right? It's one or the other. So if you're not sure, ask. I guess there should be a mutual vibe, obviously, and you guys just blend in, and when you make a move, she does it at the same time, and it just happens. If you guys are like dating, boyfriend and girlfriend, you can just go for it, that's nice. But if you are a stranger, or you are just getting to know each other, Bro, better ask. <laughs> or throw out a hypothetical like, hey, you know, if a guy were to try and kiss you, how would you react to it? You can throw out hypotheticals like that or you can ask directly. Or if you are good at reading vibes, then you can go for it, you know, if you are sure. Because sometimes you know that, you know, everything is flowing. But even then, so you can still ask for permission or try and seek some kind of consent. And you know, sometimes some girls are shy, so. In one case, at a point in time, I didn't ask before kissing her. 
and trust the circumstances. I do magic, so sometimes. Ah, do I have to? Um, I need a spectator to show that. Any kind of magic, right? Nah, nah, I won't make it disappear. <laughs> now I won't do that. Okay, so I have my like a deck of cards with me. So I can have this card like this. If I show it to the camera, this is like a turn of speed in magic. I can have this card. Swap my finger, then it changes to like a 12. Clubs. The circumstance that I talked about having, about having, um, having to kiss a girl, then I had to like switch a card and like after like, you know, just, I think she initiated it actually, because it's part of the magic. <laughs>